Hello my dear health seekers, Inga from Health Origins here. So today I'm going to give you my review of um, the Coconut Company Coconut Milk Powder. As you can see, so this is organic, GMO, uh, GMO free and vegan uh, powder. And what I like about this powder that it is uh, just coconut milk and some tapioca starch and that is it, right? So no nasty additives or, um, you know, any anything like that, gums or whatever. So, so yeah, so um, a disclaimer here that I have been sent some free product, product kindly from this company for me to give an honest review and video here on my YouTube channel. So what that's what I'm going to do. But I'll be honest, you know, in my opinion, what I think about it um, and, you know, where I would use this um, coconut milk powder. So the reason I've ordered this to begin with or looked into getting it to begin with um, was that I, I was looking for some milk powder to have in the office um, um, to just whenever I fancied a kind of a milky tea or a milky um well a hot chocolate sometimes you know i drink with my colleagues so um so yeah so instead of having to have you know alternative milks you know um in cartons which i don't drink very very often um and i didn't want to buy the cartons and plus you know you get additives there as well um so i wanted something in the kind of dry form that i could use but another uses for this would be just to have um, in your um, preppers cupboard, if you like, you know, to um, to store with your dry goods or just to have as an alternative when you run out of coconut tins. And in fact, it probably is a, a cheaper version to use for making stuff like curries and, and, and rest, different recipes uh, because here there's, you know, um, it's a kilo of this powder in UK, I believe it retails at 12 pounds. Um, whereas a tin of of the coconut milk you get is about one pound eighty uh, in the supermarkets. I buy it maybe one sixty if you can get like a cheaper version. Um, and you get about a cup and a bit of the coconut cream. Whereas this, um, apparently you can make a coconut cream type consistency from two tablespoons of milk powder. Um, so yeah, so um, let me uh, show you the tip. We'll do three tests. So first of all, the reason why I bought milk powder was to add to my coffee or tea um, that I sometimes drink. Um, so here I've got about a teaspoon and a half of chicory um, coffee. So I'm going to add some boiling water in there. And what I actually found that it is, um, you know, better to kind of make a paste from this and then add to hot drinks because you'll see. So I'll put a teaspoon of the powder in here and we'll mix it in and see how it, so see how it kind of forms little clumps initially. They will dissolve eventually, but a little whisk like for a green tea, perhaps something like that would be great. You know, where you could just whisk it in the actual cup to um, incorporate these little bits. They will eventually melt, um, but it does take a little while. And I've noticed that the, um, the coconut milk does not color the drinks that white for you know at least kind of the one teaspoon amount um perhaps you might want to add a little bit more i might add maybe a ha another half in there depends how obviously milky and white you like your um coffee or tea so the good news is that it doesn't coagulate it doesn't form any curds or anything so that's good a good thing so yeah so that's my um coffee nearly made so as you can see it is dis dissolving but it takes you know a minute or two of kind of mixing um so next we're gonna try 
um, two things. So about a tablespoon, which is three teaspoons. So I'm going to add three teaspoons to make a milk. So that's how you're supposed to make a milk from about a tablespoon of this powder. And what I'll do, I'll add a little bit of hot water first just to make a paste initially and then I'm gonna add the rest of the cup so it apparently one tablespoon of powder with a cup of water makes soy milk like soy milk coconut milk sorry um so that's kind of an amount that would make your coconut milk however this is you know something that you would find in the carton consistency it looks like you know so it's not super white um it's not super thick so it's kind of more like your milk on a cereal if you like um that kind of consistency and if you wanted to do more of a creamy type of one, it's then um, two tablespoons. So that's one tablespoon. About two tablespoons. Again, I'll put um, just a bit of hot water and then the rest of cold water. Adding warm water kind of helps to uh, melt the coconut milk easier so just gonna mix that through so even on a packet it says you need to mix it with warm water so not cold water so yes, yeah, so I've added about half a cup here with two tablespoons and that's kind of more of a milk or creamy consistency that I like, um, you know, or that you get more in like the coconut kind of tins. Um, I mean, it's still thinner than the coconut tin version, but obviously it doesn't have much of a thickener, just some tapioca starch. Um, so yeah. So this is the kind of milk I would kind of want to do. So that's basically two tablespoons of coconut uh, milk powder and half a cup of warm water. Um, yeah, and this one was one tablespoon of coconut milk and one cup of warm water. So yeah, so that's the kind of differences. So definitely this one is much richer but if I, I was going to add another half a cup then it would kind of you know dilute it more so I would say probably you need more than the package suggests if you kind of want to go to the consistency that you're used to from the tins um coconut tins um for your curries or um baking and things like that and the coffee that's looking good now on to the taste testing so first i'll try the um, chicory coffee i made with the um, coconut milk powder i've added a teaspoon of unrefined cane sugar there as well because i like you know adding a bit of sugar to my coffee um by the way i don't drink regular coffee because my stomach doesn't like it and i don't think it's that good for you either but chicory coffee uh, or barley coffee i sometimes drink Mm. So it's smooth taste. It's not super milky as you already seen in the video, but it does have that kind of creamy um, taste and consistency. So perhaps if you wanted a more white, kind of more milky look, you might want to add um, two teaspoons or maybe up to three teaspoons, up to a tablespoon of coconut milk into your tea or coffee. So now let me taste test the um, actual coconut milk, the version where I put one tablespoon of milk powder and um, one cup of water. 
Um, I think I should have kept the water a little bit warmer than this, but because um, there's a few little bits just floating at the top that haven't fully, fully um, kind of um, diluted or dissolved because it needs to be warm water. And then if you need it cold, you can <clears throat> always kind of um, cool it down. But, you know, to, to dissolve it initially, apparently you need to use warm water. So, yeah, the taste is really nice. It's very kind of mild. Uh, but like I say, this is kind of more of a like a weak version that I would use maybe for cereal or something like that. Um, and if you want it for like cooking something for your um, curries or kormas, things like that, you kind of want to probably do more like that sort of consistency, which I put two tablespoons in half a cup of water. So actually half of what it was recommended, but that looks like more of a kind of a slightly thicker consistency. Yeah. Mm. So that is definitely more like your cream. Mm, so delicious guys um yeah so I, i'll definitely say that it needs more coconut milk powder than the than the packet recommends um, in my opinion personally unless you want like a really weak kind of um coconut milk but for most applications that we would normally use like coconut milk from the tin that's the kind of consistency you probably want which is two tablespoons of coconut milk powder to half a cup of um, warm water but you know this product is so tasty that I have a problem with it right <laughs> because I ended up just eating the powder with a spoon straight from a packet and I've kind of gone maybe one third of it down already um, which is not that good for for my health because it's still even though it's a natural product you know, obviously there's no additives, just a bit of tapioca starch and the coconut milk dehydrated. It's organic, so it's as good as it can get. However, it's still got a lot of fat and it's got like, you know, saturated fat. Coconut has saturated fat as well. So it's really not good to consume large amounts of coconut milk. Um, you know, it has to be used kind of sparingly. And me eating this powder straight out of the bag... <laughs> it it's not a great idea but it you know it just tells you how tasty this milk powder is oh and i forgot to tell you the reason why i was eating this out of packet you know with a spoon it because it has this natural sweetness of coconut and also it reminds me of baby formula because um you know i used to just steal my cousin's baby formula when you know she would used to come to to visit her grandparents i would just eat the baby formula milk with a spoon right um and then once I, I became vegan I even bought some soy milk formula just to have it as a little treat sometimes I don't do that anymore but um this coconut you know milk powder has reminded me really of this yummy um sw slightly sweet um kind of milk formula for kids you know um so yeah so about um I definitely would not recommend you eating this by the spoonful because of the fat levels because um, this natural, you know, coconut milk has about, you know, naturally in the milk, there's about 65% that is coconut oil. So yeah, um, so definitely a lot of fat in there. I wouldn't recommend eating by the spoonful. One thing to also note, actually, it is quite stiff. So as you can see, it's like a really stiff. Um, but you can kind of break it up. So apparently if it was warmer, you know, in my house, so it over 26 degrees, which is not um, Celsius, um, and the house is about maybe 19, 20 degrees. So the smell kind of stays a little bit more um, stuck in, in kind of clumps, but those clumps kind of bro break up really easily. You know, you can just break it up with your fingers or with the fork or whatever. Um, and it doesn't affect, you know, any flavor or anything like that. So that's one thing to note that, you know, if, if your house is, you know, the usual normal kind of 20, 21 temperature, that this is a little bit stiff and you'll need to break off bits, you know, to kind of 
um, you know, make it into a powder. Because this, even though I've kind of um, mixed it with the fork, there's still little bits of kind of, um, of, of this powder remain kind of stuck together. But like I say, you can just easily break it up with your fingers. So another thing to note. Uh, to note. Um, so yeah, so all in all is a great product. It's great to have that on hand, um, you know, and if you kind of run out of coconut milk tins or if you want to have a, a kind of easy portable option to take to the office or while traveling and you don't have like, you know, um, an opportunity to have fresh milk with you or tins or anything like that. Um, so yeah, so it's a great alternative and I love that it's, you know, natural, no um, additives apart from a little bit of tapioca starch, which is, you know, a natural product. Um, and it's obviously non-GMO, vegan, and it's organic too. So thumbs up from me. Um, and yeah, if you try the, this brand and this company, let me know what you thought of it, um, you know, of their uh, milk powder. So as always, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did, if it was helpful. Um, if you're new here, welcome and subscribe for more videos. I try and upload one video at least for you guys a week. And as always, remember, food is fuel. So be mindful of what you put in your body. Until next time.